as you can see here. And they are not that complicated, so let's get started. Starting with part 1 of 4, installing the SMIME certificate in the Personal Certificate Store. After placing your certificate order, you will receive an email that contains a certificate pickup link where you can retrieve your certificate. Upon selecting the link, a new window will open where you will be asked to accept a user agreement. In order to accept the user agreement, you must provide a password. This is the password you set up when creating your certificate. Once you have provided the password, a certificate import wizard will open. Confirm the security prompt and select to set up the certificate for the current user. Next you'll be asked to provide a password to import the certificate. This is the same password that you provided in the previous step when completing the user agreement. Also, here select to mark the key as exportable in case you need to export the certificate in the future. Now select Automatically select the certificate store based on the type of certificate, proceed, and complete the wizard by selecting Finish, and you have successfully imported the SMIME certificate into the Personal Certificate Store. So let's move on to the next part of this process, updating your security settings in Outlook to link the certificate to your Outlook profile. Start by going to File, then Options. Now on the Options menu, go to Trust Center and select Trust Center Settings. Now select the Email Security button and from there select Settings. This is how you will link the certificate to your Outlook profile. Start by giving the security setting a name. This can be any name, but you want to make sure it's identifiable and easy to recognize. Set this as the default setting, and now choose your digital signing certificate. You can see the certificate is automatically recognized from the import process we completed in Part 1. So choose the certificate, and note that the encryption certificate will be automatically populated as well. All other settings should also be automatically populated. You can refer to our tech note on this installation process to confirm that these items automatically populated here have been done so correctly for you. And thus, the SMIME certificate has been successfully linked to the Outlook profile. So let's move on to part 3 of 4, signing and encrypting messages. Select to compose a new message. Under the Options tab, you should see two new buttons, Encrypt and Sign. To digitally sign a message, all you have to do is select the Sign button and write an email to any person you wish. When you do so, they will receive your email as digitally signed. When you send someone a digitally signed email, you are also sending them a copy of your public key, so you may be prompted to allow this to proceed. Allow this process. In sending a digitally signed email, we have completed one part of the process to allow encrypted email to be exchanged. So let's move to part 4 of 4, storing a contact's SMIME certificate, or specifically, their public key. This will allow us to exchange encrypted email with that user. So as I have already sent that user an email with a digitally signed certificate, and I've asked them to do the same for me, I have received their email here and see that it is digitally signed. I can click on this icon, view the certificate information, and I can make sure that it is correct and proper related to that identity. You will now want to add this contact to your Secure Exchange environment by right-clicking on their name and selecting Add to Outlook Contacts and Storing their Profile. And that's it. You have just imported your SMIME certificate 